Hey, this is uh, DJ Jack here today. I'm here for a big, big lighting event here at the Pasadena Westin for just under 20 tables. Uh, I believe it's uh, Allison Batista and John Galera. Really awesome couple here. Yeah, I'm shooting this video because um, they have some new changes here at the at the Westin. You know, uh, it used to be that we could. Oh uh, yeah, so this is a complete blue wash. There's a difference between just up lights and wash. Um, when you generally want to wash, you want the whole room to be like covered in blue. So these are up lights right there. See, up lights are generally um, used for like a beam or just a splash. With a wash, it covers up the, almost the entire wall. So there are some brides say, hey, listen, I only want 20 up lights. Yes, 20 up lights will give you like a nice um, splash on the wall, but it doesn't cover up the entire wall so um, you've probably seen quite a few of my Pasadena Western videos this is a complete wash because the bride wants a complete nice wash and another thing about here at the Western is um, last year in fact actually early this year 2011 we used to be able to hang from the ceiling but for now from as of June I think June 1st they have a new policy you can now hang from the ceiling unless you pay, you pay the hotel like a $600 fee. I know that's a quite a bit of cost and because of that, we no longer hang from the ceiling because of the fee associated with it. So in order for us to do pin lights, we generally have to bring these bases and poles and then spread them strategically, oh, those are my guys, strategically them around the room in order for us to do pin lighting. Pin lighting is just generally a light on the table, as you can see, that's being projected from the top. So I know it's still early, it's about 12 o'clock, the florist is not here. We generally put a pin light right there, centerpiece right there for us to uh, light up the centerpiece. Used to be we can hang, you, we, we can still hang, just at the hotel we'll enforce a, a $600 fee to, um, for us to use that method. That's actually the most, prof that's actually the professional method, hanging from the ceiling. But with the cost associated with it, we have to sort of like, you know, be creative and instead we're using these poles and base to light up all the centerpieces. So that's the technical, that's the technical logistic changes we have to adapt here at the Westin. So once again, um, this is DJ Jack here at the Pasadena Westin. If you're ever looking for lighting, sound, in fact, 2012, we are carrying, um, in fact, we're carrying Shavara chairs and white dance floors and, um, and what do you call it? And, um, um, drapery as of 2012. Oh, by the way, the dance floor here, this is not our dance floor. This is the Pasadena Western dance floor. You can see, this is what we call a seam dance floor. The black crack, the black, not the, the black straps here. With our white dance floor, it's gonna be all just white. We carry um, laminated vinyl dance floor. So that's the biggest difference. And also, basically, yeah, I hope that explains the difference between a complete wash and just up lights. Up lights, yes, it is less expensive but it causes, it creates just, this is an up light, but this is a wash light. You can tell it's a thicker light. It gives a good panel because the walls here are almost white. So it's like a good panel wash. It washes up the entire room, the whole panel. So we, for this particular occasion, in order to achieve the optimum feel, we use a combination of up lights for the beams and the wash lights. End of the day, you know, the final result is predicated on your budget. End of the day, you know, we want to do an awesome job, but we also have to take into account of the logistics, the layout, and the budget that's given to us. So take care. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm out.